first of all, really, the Hearts game, um, it was a solid win. How do you think the team performed overall? Yeah, I think over 90 minutes, I think we deserved winners. Um, another clean sheet, three points at home, so got to be delighted. Um, credit to everybody, Simon Menson for, for popping up again with two goals. And uh, when we needed it, Thomas Searney pulled off a, a fantastic save as well. So everybody contributed to, to the win. Yeah, so there's a lot more confidence, I'd say, you'd say in the sort of dressing room now. <laughs> well, continuing the run that you've been, you've been having the past few weeks. Yeah, obviously winning games, you know, breeds uh, confidence within the players. But uh, we know that uh, there's going to be a few bumps along the way. We will look forward to Saturday's game against United. Uh, it's a distraction away from the league. And uh, let's get the makings of a, an interesting cup tie. Just getting back to the SPL, you're not far off Hibs. I think you're only two points behind Hibs now. Um, you're on equal points from all. Do you think it's do you think it's feasible that Hamilton can finish in the top six given your current um, current form? Well, if they continue to do the right things and, and plays we're doing, that's certainly feasible. But uh, we're not going to carry away with ourselves. We know that uh, if we lose a couple of games, then we start going back down the way. Um, mm. But we've always said we're looking up the way. Um, we're joint points with Motherwell. We, we play Motherwell next week at their part of the derby game. And uh, we look forward to it. That's a big game. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, you know, we've already beat them twice this year, so you know, they'll be dangerous as well. Mm. You, they, they complained about players being missing the last game. We have players missing as well. So I think uh, they've lost Chris Porter, who I think was you know, a fantastic player for them. But uh, they've brought some new players to the club. And uh, you know, after the cup tie, uh, it's great games ahead for us. So um, going into the January transfer window, the last that I carry on, um, you did a bit of business during that. Are you, are you pleased with your acquisitions during that, or um, did you, did you oh, certainly with uh, the take a player we're brought the club, obviously. You know, John McMillan and uh, Paul McGowan and Rocco Quinn are young lads with, I think, a point to prove. Uh, are they good enough to play in the SPL? And uh, the other guy, obviously, Kenny Duker, um, is a, a goal scorer, a big presence up front. He's not featured as yet, but I can assure everybody, Kenny Duker's time at Hamilton Aki's welcome. OK, I'm uh, just looking ahead to the cup game against uh, United. Uh, are you confident going into that game, uh, given that, you know, Dundee United did have a good cup run in the League Cup as well? Yeah, we're, we're very confident in the run we're on, but we're not overconfident. We know that uh, if we don't perform in the day, that United will, will cause us problems. Uh-huh. We've done well against them this season. You know, we win the opening game here. And uh, I certainly feel we should win the game at United as well. We can see the goal in the 93rd minute, and we'll go at that. So, um, United will come here, you know, looking for revenge, and uh, we have to be wary of that. Yeah, just uh, finally, what's your team news for um, tomorrow? We have John McMullen, David Ellerbert, and Mark Corkin out. Uh, James MacArthur is suspended. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, uh, we're fine. Okay, thank you very much.